guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new vlog i am out and about i'm running some errands it is the gloomiest rainiest coldest like just pretty much the nastiest day it's really one of those days where i wanted to stay home and just cuddle with a blanket and do absolutely nothing but i need to go grocery shopping i'm gonna head over to trader joe's and restock on everything it's been a while since i've done my grocery shopping um so right now i'm getting gas i'm waiting for the tank to fill up which it is hold on i need to go turn off the gas pump hi, we'll see Starbucks. How are you today? hi there um can i get a grande matcha latte with oat milk and one pump chai oat milk and a pump of chai gotcha is there anything else i can get for you that's all great it's gonna be 684 okay thank you today i'm obviously vlogging and at the same time i'm vlogging for youtube i'm also trying to vlog for TikTok. I'm trying to be so much more active on TikTok. It's so much fun. I feel like it's so much more like chill than like Instagram in comparison. So I've been constantly posting on TikTok. I post like pretty much every day, sometimes like multiple times a day. So if you guys have a TikTok and you want to just see more clippets of my life on the days where I don't post YouTube videos, you should definitely go follow me because I post just like everything like random things like organizing and cleaning little vlogs recipes and just stuff well not really recipes sometimes i post like my drink recipes um i should post more food recipes but it's mostly my tiktok is mostly focused on like home and like amazon hauls and like vlogs and stuff like that like fashion outfit of the days but yeah so i'm trying to also like vlog on my phone like this way at the same time so it's a lot of work like trying to do both but i'm really trying like i feel like this is the year that i want to like try to be more active on tiktok and have more opportunities via tiktok and it's just so crazy how the like influencer industry just blew up because of tiktok like so many people have like really big platforms on tiktok now and it's great to see that like so many people can do this um it's actually just very interesting to see people become successful on tiktok it took me a long time to like kind of give into it hold on i need to pay for my drink hello good thank you okay that was very quick let me pull over somewhere so i can like drink and talk a little bit i don't like to vlog and drive i used to i used to vlog when I, I know i'm vlogging and driving right now but i'm literally in a parking lot hold on what was i saying um yeah it's just fun to see like so many people vlog on tiktok and the shorter videos are like becoming so popular now i got the invitation from youtube to start uh monetizing on shorts like you know um you know shorts on youtube i haven't posted any yet but um starting february i'm i'm able to monetize off it like i monetize off regular YouTube videos so I don't know if I want to utilize that yet I might start posting my shorts so if you don't have TikTok I might start just posting all of them on YouTube as well just like both so that you guys can see them as well if you don't want to you know make a whole TikTok account but yeah it's just so fun I love seeing everyone thrive and you know get brand deals and get PR packages like so many people I know now that I follow on TikTok I have a lot of TikTok friends that I met you know through the platform and I just love I love seeing everyone do great because anyone can do this. I'm literally an average person. I was gonna, I was gonna curse. Um, I'm literally an average person, and if I can do this, literally anyone can, and you can on TikTok especially. Um, it's such a big outlet. So I feel like I should do another updated like creator tips, like how I started my YouTube channel and how I kind of grew on here, and also focus on how I'm growing my TikTok because I think I'm up to 18,000 followers now. Um, around this time last year, I had around like 5K. So um, I could give tips on TikTok, um, definitely on YouTube, of course, and Instagram too. Um, so yeah, anyway, I got my drink. My camera is actually dying. So I think I'm going to vlog the rest of the stuff on my phone um, when I'm in Trader Joe's. I probably won't vlog too much in there. I don't like to vlog much in there because I feel like they judge me. and they, It's like a, such a small, tiny store. All the workers can see you. I don't want them to like, see my big camera, professional-looking camera. So, um, yes, I got my matcha. My order is a grande matcha latte with oat milk and one pump of chai. Mm, and it's so delicious. Okay, yeah, I gotta go now. My camera's dying. I will check with you guys later. I'm home, guys. I got a lot of groceries. It's been a while since I got a grocery haul this big. So I will show you everything that I picked up. This is definitely gonna be good to last a couple weeks. So I'm gonna go through this quickly because it's a lot. Uh, almond milk, my favorite juice from them we got some hash browns picked up some flowers just a couple more hydrangeas and i also got a eucalyptus for the shower yeah fresh eucalyptus i love putting that in the shower 
And then we got some low sodium turkey meat, lunch meat, some turkey bacon, eggs. I love their turkey meatballs for like a quick lunch. I either throw it in salad or um, like pasta or I make meatball subs and I just put like barbecue sauce on them. It's really good. And then orange chicken. We got some salmon. I got some of the shawarma chicken. Also got regular chicken breast. And then a ton of veggies, romaine. I got a couple salad mixes for like a quick lunch. This is the Southwest Chop Salad. This one's really good. Um, I don't use the dressing though that it comes with. I also got this Mediterranean style salad kit. I usually don't use the dressings that come with them because they're kind of like high in fat and calories. So I got this Green Goddess dressing. This one is so, so good. It's low calorie, very delicious. And then we got some spinach, celery, arugula, green beans. Um, I got some frozen things. We got some frozen blueberries for smoothies. I've been making smoothies a lot lately. I think I'm gonna make one today. Um, so I'll use that for the smoothies. And then some roasted potatoes. I always get this, very delicious. Sometimes it's nice for like breakfast, you know, like uh, breakfast potatoes, tastes very good. And then my Favorite edamame. This one is nice because it's already cooked. All you have to do is like uh, put it in boiling water and it cooks or um, it heats up in like two minutes super quick. So um, very delicious. And then we got some shrimp burgers. I saw someone on TikTok uh, mention these and they looked good. So I wanted to try it. Um, so yeah, got those. And then these look good. I've never got these before, but I was just intrigued. Mini chicken tacos. Looks delish. And then avocados, red onion, bananas. Um, I got some creamer, also got some coconut water. Okay, this is how you know TikTok influences my life. I saw someone post a TikTok saying that they like got advice 15 years ago um, from like women at the club saying that if you drink coconut water every day, you know, it'll keep your skin looking very nice and youthful. So I need to start drinking coconut water every day. Um, and then I got, what else? We got a bunch of random stuff, Parmesan, grated Parmesan cheese. Dijon mustard for my tuna. I also got some more tuna. And then Alfredo, Alfredo pasta sauce. And then I got some linguine for the pasta. Needed to pick up another everything but the bagel. Seasoning, cucumber. We got a couple cheeses. This is light cheddar cheese for sandwiches. And then I also got the light shredded three blend cheese. And then we got some bread. Okay, this stuff is amazing. Um, it's the chili onion peanuts. My friend brought these to the movies and I literally almost finished the whole bag. Best thing I've ever tasted. They're so addicting. So if you haven't tried these, please do yourself a favor and try them. Uh, we got some butter, we got some caramelized onion dip and we got some tzatziki creamy garlic cucumber dip. I'm gonna use that when I make the chicken shawarma. And then we got pita chips, pita bread and then just regular flour tortillas and I think that's it. So I need to go through the fridge and like clean everything out because it's been like a couple weeks. I think it's pretty empty, honestly. Yeah, I think I have some like leftovers I need to throw away. Those are old. So we're gonna clean out the fridge, wipe it down, organize it. I also think I'm gonna go through the condiments because a lot of these are probably old. So um, yeah, we're gonna do a full fridge clean out and restock.
looking much more full. I did have a couple other stems in here previously, um, but yeah, I just refilled my little vase that I got from H&M a few years ago. I love this vase. I think it's like the perfect size. It's small, but still nice and unique. And I lit a candle. There's really no better feeling than having fresh florals and then lighting a candle right next to it. Love it. And the fridge is much more organized, um, kind of just stacked everything and definitely cleaned everything out. All the veggies are in there. I'm going to be making dinner right now. Um, we made some of the orange chicken for lunch. I warmed it up on the stove and had some leftover rice with it. I ate that for lunch. It was very delicious. So I'm going to be making for dinner the chicken shawarma thighs. I'm going to put that in the oven to cook it. And I'm going to put those in some pita bread. We're gonna make some little shawarma pita sandwiches. And then I will probably chop up a red onion and a cucumber. We'll throw that in there. And then lastly, we'll top it off with the tzatziki sauce, which I already opened. We opened this one and then the onion caramel dip. We had the pita chips that I got um, and we ate it with this. It was so, so good. cucumber, I think of Kendall Jenner. Have you seen that TikTok of Kendall Jenner trying to slice a cucumber? Oh. She was like this. Do you see, do you see me? Yeah. <laughs> Are you pressing down? She like has her like hand on this side. And, oh my God, they're like crossed over. Every time I slice cucumbers, Kendall Jenner is in my head. Oh. realize it's really dark right now I just picked up this little light panel it's like a clip-on light panel and you can put it on top of your phone it's good for if you make like TikToks or reels or if you just want good lighting when you take selfies you just clip right over your phone where's my phone you clip it over like this and turn it on and then you have this amazing lighting but I thought this would also be nice for when I'm vlogging in dark spaces like this so I'm gonna see, does that look good? Oh, that looks great. Where can I put this? Oh my gosh, it worked. Dude, this is so cool. Wow, I feel like it's a little bit too bright. Let me change the lighting in my bedroom too. I have the app, this app for my LED light bulbs. They're linked on my Amazon storefront um, if you wanna check them out, but wow okay so we're waiting for dinner it's baking right now the chicken is in the oven so i thought i would do a really random amazon haul because i have a collection of things i've gotten in the mail over the past week i haven't opened any of the boxes yet so i thought we could do it together on the vlog i got a lot of like random home things and just yeah just things that are random like for example this led light i picked up uh i think a week ago I'll link everything in my description, but I think most of these things are on my storefront. The first thing I got is, oh, I got a lot of bathroom things. I picked up this little box. It's a holder for your wipes. So like baby wipes, but um, I have like wet wipes by the toilet, by both toilets. I wanted just like a nice way, sleek way to store them. I don't want like the wipes to be showing, um, like the packaging. So I got this. It's a nice little size it's black and that's what the inside looks like you just uh, open this up you can put the wipes right in so I thought it was a really cute way to, to store my wipes I also got what is this tea tree oh I got a tea tree essential oil I got this because um, we're going on vacation next month I'm, I've been talking about this vacation for a long time but we're going to Antigua and um, I was reading reviews and apparently like mosquitoes and like insects like there's a lot of them down there and I was reading that tea tree is good at repelling like insects, but also bed bugs. I don't know why, like TikTok just puts so many new fears in, into me. Um, I was on like bed bug TikTok for a while. I went to a deep hole and I saw like a lot of people's horror stories about bringing bed bugs home. And that's never happened to me before. But after seeing those videos, I'm like, oh my God, what if that happens? So um, to repel them when I'm on vacation. Um, I got some tea tree. Let me know in the comments if you have any knowledge about tea tree oil and bed bugs. Um, but that's just my anxiety 
and paranoia getting to me. Okay, the next thing I picked up, I'm excited about because it's a cleaning product. You just know you are a true adult when you get excited about cleaning products. Um, I'm just a clean person. I love to clean. So um, this is the Clorox toilet wand. I have been thinking about getting this for a while. It's basically like replaces your like toilet brush. It's a way just to clean your toilet. And I'll set it up right now. But yeah, I just kind of like debated not getting this because I thought it was a waste of money. I thought it would be kind of annoying to go have to go out and repurchase the like uh, refills. It comes with six of them in this package I got. And I was just thinking to myself, do I really want to go out and rebuy the refills each time but with the amount of times I clean my toilet I feel like it would be the same as buying the liquid toilet bowl like soap so I thought it would be wait a minute oh wait it comes with more than six. Oh my oh wait a minute this is nice it comes with like how many 14 okay I think it comes with about 14 I'll set it up later but I think many of you guys already know what this is I'm like late to the game oh I got a new Bluetooth speaker because we don't really have a good one and we're always like playing music like on our TV but sometimes we want to watch TV but like you know like have a game on but still want to play music and also I wanted to get this for vacations so you know we can bring this to the beach and then my cabin trip with my friends like there's just so many times I was thinking I need a Bluetooth speaker. So I finally got one. And this one is from Sony. This was on sale on Amazon. The original price was $129. It was on sale for $98. This is the XE200. So we went to Target the other day and we were actually looking in the like like electronic section and we were looking at all the speakers and we were testing them out. Um, we talked to the sales rep there at Target. Um, and we really liked the Sony one. And it was regular price at Target. It was on sale at Amazon. That's why anytime you go to like Best Buy or Target always price match all of these stores price match so if you're looking to buy something like electronics or like a TV or whatever at Target or uh, Walmart or even Best Buy always check Amazon for that product um, and if it's cheaper on Amazon they will price match for you so just a tip but anyway I just decided to order it online so I'm very excited to try it out and I love how it looks it's like gray so sleek and chic it's also like dust proof and waterproof which is kind of what sold me so like I'm gonna bring this with us to the pool on vacation at the beach like if it gets a little bit wet it's like no big deal um, but yeah I love how it looks so definitely we'll have to try this out later but I just love it, it has a little like handle here too then I also got oh yeah I got some more of the pink stuff I got this because I needed a new cleaner for the stove the kitchen sink just like a general all-purpose cleaner they really package this nicely which is very good but yeah this stuff went viral on tiktok like last year it was all over the place um i used to have this spray i've never had the like paste before it's the miracle cleaning paste so yeah i just wanted something like an all-purpose cleaner to like clean the kitchen clean the tub the the sink i'm pretty sure you can use it like everywhere it's non-toxic, it's non-hazardous, and it's made with natural ingredients, so it's like good, it's like sustainable. You can use it for saucepans, cooker tops, sinks, uh, barbecues, ceramic tiles, glass, showers, literally anything. So, just wanted a good all-purpose cleaner. Oh, okay, this is a little fun thing that I got. So, I got these LED flameless candles. And I got these because I really want to put these on the TV stand. And right now, if you remember, or I'll show you guys in a second, but I have these like three candles that I got from Ikea. They're real candles. And I always want to light them, but it's really not safe to light candles directly under your TV. So I opted for like the safer option. It looks super realistic. I was looking at the reviews. This is real glass. It's not plastic. It feels like real glass. And like, can you see the little candle like moving? It looks very, very... Realistic is this real wax? Whoa, that's crazy. This is actually real wax um, That's insane. So yeah, it looks like legit candles. It comes with three of them um, of different sizes and I wonder if you can change the color I don't think so, but this is the remote you can do like a timer two hour four hour six hour You can do candle mode or light mode and you can dim it or make it brighter that's so cool I'm gonna go set this up right now that's all that I got from Amazon my very random 
a haul. So I'll link all these things in my description. And then again, you can check out my storefront. All of these things will be listed there along with a bunch of other stuff. I'm always like constantly upda updating my Amazon storefront with just new things that I find that are really cool. All my favorites on there, um, like home decor, fashion, accessories, um, furniture, pretty much anything. So definitely go check out my Amazon storefront. So um, I'm gonna clean up, I'm gonna set up these candles and probably go check on the chicken because it's probably gonna be done by now. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that haul. the candles they look so realistic I don't know if you can tell because the lighting gets kind of weird but the flames like flicker and it's so cute and yeah from far away they seriously look like real candles um, and then for the remote you can control how bright and how dark you want it so I think I have it at the brightest but I think I'm gonna dim it a little bit it kind of is like a little bit too oh that's better I feel like you can see it more better the light mode is like it doesn't flicker so I don't think you can tell um, yeah you probably won't be able to tell but when you click on candle it like flickers way more um, like an actual candle and you can kind of like see it on the ceiling flickering uh, it's kind of hard to tell I love it I think they look really cute on the TV stand and definitely a way safer option than having um, real candles here. And I feel like the room is just a lot more cozy now. This corner is becoming really cozy now. Very happy with how cozy I feel like um, my main goal with the whole like living room and like apartment update was just to create a more homey feel. Like obviously it's an apartment, but I want to feel like I'm living like in a, in a cute little home. So um, yeah, and then I showed this in the last vlog, the new artwork that I got from HomeSense and I am just so happy with it. I was talking about how I was iffy about it at first, but the more I look at it every day, it's been like, I think it's been about a week since I got that and the more obsessed I am with it every day. And I do like how it's gold. I feel like everything is too white and black and beige. So I like the pop of gold. I feel like um, it adds like a really cute kind of bougie feel. I'm really bad at wearing my Apple Watch. I need to be better at that. But I got a lot done today, so I'm very happy. And I think I just realized the candles are flicker. Like you can hear, like it makes like a noise. Like it kind of sounds like almost a realistic candle crackling. I don't know, it sounds really peaceful though. So anyway, yeah, I'm chilling on the couch. I'm currently watching The White Lotus. I just started the show yesterday. I've never seen it before, but I know it's super popular and everyone talks about it. I heard it's a really good show, so I finally just gave in. I wanted to see what the hype was about, and I'm obsessed. I'm on episode four, or no, this is episode three. These episodes are super long. I feel like I'm watching a movie each time I'm watching an episode, so it's taken me a while to get through. Um, but yeah, I'm halfway through the third episode. I like it. It's just kind of like a, like I don't know, it's just like a black comedy. Um, I don't know what genre this is, but it's very different than like normal, like other or regular TV shows that I've seen before. So I see what the hype is about it, like, is written really well I really like it and then another show I started watching yesterday before I started White Lotus was uh, The Last of Us I believe it's called and it's based on the video game I used to watch PewDiePie on YouTube I used to like back in the day like watch so many gamer YouTube do youtubers and it's funny because Anto is a gamer youtuber but he does sports but I used to watch like PewDiePie a lot 
Um, I love like game plays, like those like games where um, like they do like, I don't know, it's, it's like a story mode where you like follow the story. So I was very into PewDiePie's gameplay of The Last of Us. I literally watched every single video he dropped. It was like 2013. So yeah, they did a TV show based off of that game. And the TV show was just released January 15th. So two episodes are out right now on HBO Max. Um, and I think they're releasing a new episode each Sunday. So yeah, there's only two episodes out of that. And I watched both of them yesterday. I really like it. And compared to the video game, it really, they did a really good job. Like keeping things like very like similar to that even the actor that plays the main character uh in the show he looks like the video game character it's crazy so um yeah i've been watching those shows since we're on the topic of shows what other shows have i been watching oh yeah me and Anto started watching this reality tv show it's on peacock i believe i believe originally it's a bravo tv show it's a brand new show it's called love across the borders i believe something about the borders but it's kind of like 90 day fiance which is a show that we really love too um except there's like a matchmaker and she uh matches like americans up i think it's like five americans um she matches them up with people that live in other countries and it's like pretty much blind like they don't know where they're going they don't know who they're going to meet they literally these five americans like fly out to wherever they're assigned to all over the world and they like have to live with the person they're matched with it's a really like interesting show everyone the show is very annoying though if you guys have watched it like girlene is literally the worst and just i don't know like there's so many annoying people on the show but it's just so interesting so um i recommend it if you have peacock it's free there so i feel like every night i have just been watching tv that's literally what i've been doing the past like few weeks i mean that's usually what i do um after like the day's done after we have dinner and we um clean up get ready for bed we've been watching tv shows a lot together me and anto so yeah leave a comment let me know if you've seen any of those shows i just mentioned or if you like those shows um, and also let me know your suggestions for new shows to watch. But I'm pretty much going to be binging The White Lotus until I'm done. Um, because season two, I think, was just released like a few weeks ago. So yeah, that's all for this vlog. Good night, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I will catch you in my next one. Bye.